Well, that's little Goldie sitting up in the bed by the um, window. <laughs> so anyway, I'll give you a quick uh, update on the Parazapper Mai and some other thoughts about it. Um, I've been using the Parazapper Mai uh, pretty much exclusively, even though I have loads of different zappers and brake machines and everything else. So, and I've, I'll tell you why. So, uh, but yeah, just to give you an update on Goldie, he's uh, getting pretty big, man. He's uh, eight months old, maybe almost. Uh, I estimated his birthday at May 30th, 2014. So we shall see. Huh? What are you doing, huh? That's my little Putin cat here. So <laughs> I just want to tell you that, um, you know what I wind up doing? Um, I wind up using the Power Zapper, my Zapper, almost all the time. I use this about six hours a day. Usually when I'm sleeping, man, I have it hooked up in a certain way. And, um, you know, the one thing that's cool about this, you know, actually doctors will tell you, there's a hell of a lot of um, microbes now becoming very resistant to, um, wait, Putin? Yeah. Becoming very resistant to, like, all kinds of medicines and antibiotics. And antibiotics means antibacterial, basically. And, uh, I don't know. And there's an argument about that, antiviral, antibacterial, whatever. But, uh, the, um, you know, the one thing is, you know, the research on this is pretty solid, even though... It's not endorsed by the medical community. You know, when John Crane, the Rife's assistant, was working with uh, the pad-type Rife machines back in the late 50s, I uh, basically got a lot of input from Royal Rife. And the uh, frequencies they used and decided upon were basically divisors of the original Royal, Royal Rife frequencies. Now, the pad-type Rife machine, whatever you want to call it, it's like maybe... You know, if you would say the pad type rife machine, you would make um, handhelds and foot paddles at the same time. But um, it's it's not as strong as like a plasma, but the cost is way lower, and it's easier. And that's the thing where I wind up using this a hell of a lot more because there's only one battery in the back. Plus, it's made in the USA. I mean, how many damn things are made in the USA now? None, right? <laughs> so there's a battery. I use a 9.6 volt rechargeable battery, which is made for like paintball guns and stuff, because it lasts a lot longer. Usually, rechargeable batteries aren't as strong as alkaline. I'm doing this in one hand here, slide that up there. There we go. So, um, but that type of rechargeable battery works, right, Putty? Yeah, you sure you do. Yeah. So, um, you know, I'm going to tell you though, this is like. Yeah, I know. I put a lot of videos about the Bob Beck Pulsar. And, and some Pulsars are... You know, it's not too bad, though. It's not really bad. It does give you an energy boost. Probably takes out some microbes. Actually, the thing I heard the most... You know, it's testimony stuff. i got to tell you this. But testimonies are like, you know, what's a testimony, right? But actually, the one testimony I think is the most valid is about the malaria issue with the Bob Beck Pulsar. Because uh, the Bob Beck Zapper pretty much does the blood. Malaria is pretty much a blood, a disease of the blood, and the frequency, according to the consolidated annotated frequency list, is four hertz, which is very for malaria to kill malaria, and that's usually about what the Bob Beck Pulsar is. It's either it's supposed to be three point nine one five, but you know how accurate are they? Three point nine four, you know. So it's right in the ballpark where the malaria thing is, but the malaria microbe killing frequency allegedly is. So it probably works on that, but it don't work on a lot of stuff. It does give you energy, but the power zapper mine. Now I counted 88 frequencies, and I think he's, he's this is constantly being upgraded. Now the one thing is I also like the spooky too, but for convenience in comp and in, in contact mode, this is better because I can carry it anywhere I want. You know, and I think contact mode is stronger than remote. Remote's convenient. That's something. That's another subject. If you know what I'm talking about? Look at the spooky too remote. Uh, remote videos and I don't know there's only two things I was able to I personally was able to ascertain that kind of freaked me out about the remote works was vision to improve it seems to work while you're running it eight frequency 1830 and the, the, the frequency for killing fleas <laughs> I put some uh, fleas in a cat mobius in a mobius coil and to kill the fleas on a cat just the fleas because I just put the fleas in there at, that's if you don't know what I'm talking about, you have to look at the video on that. That freaked me out. I don't know. It worked. I don't. You know, it was a coincidence. I don't know, but mm, it does work. But I have a lot more faith in the um, contact mode or plasma. Now, plasma is thousands of dollars, right? 
usually. This thing is, what is it, 350 or something like that? And it's like, you know, if you're looking at, I'll, I'll, I'll name some names. If you're looking at a Soda Instruments <laughs> Bob Beck Pulitzer, you're getting a one frequency. And uh, what is it, 275 or something plus 40 bucks shipping? <laughs> Which is freaking figuring the shipping. This thing's got 88 frequencies and they're all positive offset. It's, it's far superior, in my opinion. Now, I also want to mention something because I mentioned the Bob Beck Pulsar. You know, one thing Bob Beck was always against was, don't take any garlic. Ooh, ooh, it's bad for you, right? You know what? If you look back in the ancient texts, all the way back to, you know, the Greeks and the Romans, all the Roman and Greek doctors were prescribing garlic for about every damn ailment there is. And they take, garlic's been taken for thousands of years by all kinds of cultures for like antiviral, antibacterial, and even doctor, medical doctors today are looking at garlic again because a lot of the antibiotics they're prescribing aren't, isn't working anymore, right? Uh, so they're looking at garlic. So you know, Bob Beck was one of these guys who said, you don't take garlic. It's a, you know, garlic's a poison if it's in your directly in your bloodstream or something. When you're taking it orally in your stomach, it's a lot different, you know? Especially aged garlic. So, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this deal because uh, I found out I think hold it. You know, I know there's a big war between uh, Hold the Clark fans and Bob Beck fans, but I'm gonna tell you right now, Bob Beck used to work with Hold the Clark early on in her career. Then he went around. Basically, I looked at his videos and I was totally convinced by this guy, almost completely. But he kept saying that you know she didn't have the best stuff. I have the best stuff. And I looked at Bob Beck's credentials and I says, Wow, he's got some lofty ass credentials man he's like a doctor of science he's been around doing this for 50 years he worked for the defense department then i started like adding up things i'm, I'm ad living on here because i'm going to tell you man right now this puppy here it's not exactly a holy clark thing it's it got holy clark positive offset but it's really a list of john crane rife's assistance frequencies that's what's in here but um i just want to tell you this that you know a lot of these things like this is you know Anything you do is going to have limits. But the beauty of this puppy is, you know, one rechargeable battery, and it's made in the USA with a five-year warranty. And you <laughs> five-year warranty, right? And um, also, um, <laughs> the other deal is, uh, you know, it's accurate as all hell. There isn't any other zapper on the market that's this accurate. None of them. This is actually a 16 megahertz frequency generator inside of this puppy, this little thing. That's why it's so damn accurate. But I want to tell you, though, like Bob Beck, he used to work for, um, he was a contractor for the Defense Department and the military at the very highest echelons. He used to advise them about, you know, the frequencies that were being used against people that worked in the embassies, in the Soviet embassies and the Russian embassies, you know, the Americans working there and why they're falling asleep at the wheel. And he was an expert on all this stuff with frequencies. He, he said he also worked for um, Lockheed Martin. He was a contractor for Lockheed Martin. He was totally involved in the military industrial complex. But he's telling you everything that he's criticizing the hell out of the, uh, the major medical stuff. And, you know, if you're really into conspiracy buff guy, you realize that, or, or, or gal, you realize that a lot of these designer diseases like Ebola, HIV, and Lyme, a lot of people suspect it came from the military labs in the first place, right? And he's telling you he's got a, you know, I can tell you right now, his, his zapper is not a cure for any of that kind of stuff, period. Cancers, he claimed it cured cancer, and he claimed that don't take any kind of, don't take garlic. Uh, that was one of the things. I was like, well, yo, baby. Uh, don't take any, don't take any herbs. So every herb herbalist out there doesn't know anything. His zapper for 29 bucks cures everything. Um, his, uh, don't take any medicines. Don't listen to any of your doctors. I know better, but I'm not a doctor. You know, I, I just want to get it through people's heads. The guy was a disinformation agent. I just got to freaking put it out to you this way. The guy had to be a disinformation agent, which means he's got gems of truth. That big zapper is somewhat helpful. It's nowhere near what the hell he's telling you it is. This is far superior to any big zapper. Far superior. But it's not going to do every damn thing. You know, it's not a plasma device. It's not a GP4000 with plasma bulb that costs you $4,000. You know, I mean... You know, but it, it help, I think it can help you. You know, in today's age where um, medicines are becoming um, not, you know, not working, you know, but microbes are becoming more resistant to medicines, you know, this type of technology should be embraced by the medical profession. Now, I'm going to tell you this. Actually, the Russian cosmonauts, 
they take they take up on um, on the space capsules in a space station a device called Senar. It's called S C E N A R. Now I know they sell some of them in the U S. for sports recovery and stuff. They might their, their device might be different, but it's a wave mixing device. It's more complicated than this, but it's a lot. You know, it's big bucks, <laughs> big big bucks. But the thing is, they use electronic technology in lieu of pharmaceuticals because they can't take a lot of pharmaceuticals aboard in a space. So they actually use a Sinar device. They were using that back in 2000 for sports recoveries even. Uh, and they used to call it the, the magic Star Trek device that the Russians had They because they found out how come the Russian athletes were recovering so well. They were using electronic means. So this stuff is not snake oil. But not everything is equal. And now this thing is vastly superior to any zapper on the market. It's not vastly, it's not better than a... Let me put it. It's not better than a GP4000 with a plasma, but then, you know, you're paying 350 bucks. You're not paying $4,000. And the other thing is, it's a hell of a lot more portable. And it's made in the USA, and it's got five-year warranty. So I use this pup. And just to tell you, I use this thing every day, oh, about six hours a day on average. I take this stuff, too. <laughs> pretty good stuff anyway but you know bob beck would say don't take this this is bad for you yeah right sir tell me another one you know all the ancient doctors are wrong you know but i'm gonna tell you again you know the guy did work for the uh you know, i gotta put it out because you know a lot of people you know i've been um i've been realizing you know i was wrong about some of i was a little suspicious of his exaggerate i was suspicious of his exaggerations but i did not really think that he was a total disinformation agent until later on i said well he was Actually, he claimed his zapper could be could uh, cure anthrax if there was ever an anthrax attack on the United States. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Anyway, actually, if, you know, I don't know if this would cure. Him. You know, I, if I had anthrax, I mean, I'd try this too. I mean, I don't know if it would work, but I mean, if you don't have nothing, you can't do anything. I'd be taking this. I'd be taking, uh, you know, garlic. I'd be taking, you know, I'd be wearing garlic around my neck for crying out loud. Uh, I'd be wearing a, you know, silver cross, taking a, you know, what it, the word off evil spirits. I'd be taking colloidal silver. Uh, you know, I'd be praying to God, you know, hey, give me a miracle cure, you know, give, enlighten me or something. Uh, you know, I'd be taking liposomal vitamin C with, uh, you know, the Willard water, extra dark with triple X on it. And I'd be taking vitamin D and every other damn vitamin, astragalus root, you name it, man. I do this too a lot, but... You know, come on. You know, Bob Beck used to tell you, don't do anything except his $29 worth of Radio Shack component zapper. Yeah, baby. So, just going to tell you, that, but this, you know, hey, you want to compare something one-on-one? -on -one? You think this, do you think the soda instruments price on almost, I think when you're adding the shipping in there, well, the retail price, I don't know, maybe there's discounts, but I think retail is $275 plus 40 shipping. This is three fifty. I don't know what the shipping is. Maybe fifteen bucks. I think something like that. I don't know exactly what it is. Maybe it's eighteen dollars. It's a few dollars more, but you're getting eighty-eight frequencies positive offset and a five-year warranty. <laughs> and you know, I'm going to tell you these things. These handhelds. This is like covered in uh, white uh, paper towel right now. There's a copper. Um, these are vastly superior to those little Bob Beck electrodes, man. You know. This is getting a hell of a lot more of the electricity through in the body. Now, I know this is not endorsed by the medical profession, but it, they got a lot of freaking evidence, really. I mean, John Crane was doing pretty damn good with the doctors and back in the early 60s, and the doctors were getting pretty damn good results. It wasn't as great as the freaking Royal Rife original radio frequency thousands of dollars machine. He was selling these zappers, you know, one frequency zappers with uh, handhelds and, and the foot paddles. And the FDA freaking you know destroyed him man he freaking tore up his office uh you know took everything out of there put him in a can you know uh took all the stuff away from the doctors and i'm thinking yeah that's bullshit because you know in a case in the day of today you know what i'm gonna add this in the end you know how much uh generic i'm not even talking about you know the regular the real stuff the generic um pharmaceuticals are going up under Bar obamacare you know how much they're going up 450 percent so I think it's about time people start really start looking at this. And, you know, if the government don't look at it, you might want to experiment with it. And, um, you know, not that it's a cure-all, but if it helps you, it helps you. I think, it, I, think it, I think it's got, for the money, 
It's a ridiculously good deal. Plus, made in the USA, guaranteed five years. And nothing, no zapper is this accurate. This is actually a 16 megahertz uh, frequency generator in this little puppy, man. It's just preset. You don't have to do nothing. You just you got these different modes. You turn it on. You go, there it is. Runs mode one. Green light means the battery's good. <laughs> Click it, you know, I turn it off. That's it. And then you click it again. Um, I, I have mine defaulted to um, the Clark mode, actually. <laughs> That's my favorite mode. This one here, mode 8, the Clark mode. That's the one I run the most. But anyway, there's a lot on this where you can set it up to what you could start at a different mode. You can set the length of time on the. Um, how long you want each frequency to go. I have mine set at 10 minutes and 21 seconds, and I have it start at the Clark mode, mode frequency, uh, mode 8, which goes through, I think, 14 different frequencies just in that one mode. So it's a, it's a super device, man. Great, great. This is the one I've been using all the time, six hours a day or more. I think it's great. So anyway, figured I'd update you on that, you know, what have I been doing, and, uh, um, you know, I'm a real truther, I'll tell you the truth, man, because I really, I wind up, um, I'm winding up, I'm pissing off some of the alternative clowns out there because I'm realizing these guys in the alternative world are just screaming some crap they want to hear because they want to believe something. I realize that this has limits. This is not going to, this is not some cure-all, this thing. It's, I think it's good, though. I think it's useful. I think it's well worth the money. That's my opinion on it, and, uh, it's using a lot of technology from Holder Clark and John Crane, World Rife's assistant, and it's highly accurate. And again, it's made in the USA, and it's warrantied five years. So you're not getting some crap that, you know, I bought it from, you know, you know wherever. And, uh, you know, you, you're stuck with it if it breaks. It's made in the good old USA, man. Okay? All right. I figured I'd just update you on that. <laughs>